let's see here. So next we had, this is a bit of a pronunciation question, and I bet that you'll have a, an opinion about this. So it's kind of has to do with the ing final in Chinese, how like when, you know, sometimes people will say qing, and sometimes people will say qing. They'll kind of add that little extra, you know what I'm talking about there? Qing and qing. Yeah, well, that, in, if it were second tone, yeah, sure. But like the idea is that there's a little bit of that extra sound there in the middle for some people, and more in the north, I would say. But have you ever noticed that sort of difference there? Uh, there is, and I've asked the question specifically because, uh, you know, for me, there was, you know, there's always sort of two, you know, you take a character, you take the pronunciation, you know, Q-I-N-G, um, and, you know, with the second tone order. And... Uh, and there were two answers, two ways to pronounce it. And I was like, well, how can, what, what's the situation? Which one is right? The answer I got from uh, a very, very, you know, kind of knowledgeable person was they're both right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it's just acceptable. Yeah, um, yeah. For example, like when you say, um, for example, in Mandarin, we had to say the word who, what do you say? She or or shui. Exactly. Yeah. So for example, like when I listen to like, you know, the full speeches, for example, from the Chinese premier Xi Jinping, he will always say shui. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's just not what I'm used to and not mm -hmm. what I've ever done. I've always called it shui. But, you know, he, it's, it's perfectly acceptable. So mm -hmm. it's like, uh, it is just one of those situations. I'm sure you boys are way more aware of how many there are and stuff, but there's actually not that many. Um, at the moment, I'm learning Spanish. So it's like, you know, here they're like, here's your regular verbs. And then here's all the, all the millions of irregular ones. Yeah. In Chinese, we're like, here's everything regular and here's you know, the odd few that are irregular. Yeah. So don't be scared of it. There's just a couple, and it's a really good point. You're like, you're really tuning into some very specific details there. Mm -hmm. um, enjoy it, whichever one suits you best, um, and find yeah. your flavor in it, you know? Yeah, yeah both yeah. of those work, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely, uh, but just as a little thing, I like to go with the, you know, qing, and add that little extra twang on it, because I, I like it, well. it makes it clearer between the I and you're uh, less likely to, as a foreigner to make a mistake with that one. Right, right. Like, do you mean tin or ting? Yeah, 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 exactly. And so, so it's sometimes because I-N and I-N-G, if you use the yeah. first version, they can sometimes sound quite similar.